Adi for I'm a data science expert and OCI expert. Today we are going to discuss about OCI data flow. Let's get started. So the objectives of this presentation is what is data flow and what is Apache Spark application? Why data flow? Data flow storage architecture, connections, components, and capabilities of data flow, security of the data flow. And we also discuss about prerequisites of data flow, how to set up the data flow, the use cases and benefits of data flow. What is data flow? Data flow is a fully managed Apache Spark application that performs the ELT tasks on large volume of data. So since it is hosted on the OCI side, so we don't need to install any servers for this. So it's a serverless application and on the back end, it supports the Apache Spark application. So it is pay only for what you use while you use it. So you won't pay any extra money over here. You actually pay for what you use. It is very simple uh, user uh, interface and you can run the data flow using command line interface or REST APIs. What is Apache Spark? Apache Spark is a distributed compute system designed to process the data at a scale and it supports Scala, Java, Spark SQL and PySpark and machine learning. Why data flow? So data flow is basically for to perform the ELT operations. So what we are doing here is we are extracting the data from object storage finally loading it into the ADW or object storage using the Python script and that the process data, we, we can use it for OCI data science or OCI AI services or Oracle machine learning, or we can use it for reporting and dashboarding purpose using OAC. So what is a big data problem that we are facing it today? In case of big data, we are responsible for the full stack. It's hard to upgrade. It's hard to plan the capacity. It's hard to get analytics to end users. So we are, we have the solution for all these problems using OCI data flow. That is everything is fully managed by Oracle here. It is serverless application, no upgrades required, strong isolation, no resource contention. So we can connect to the data sources using ODBC, JDBC and REST APIs. So data flow architecture. So as you can see here, we are loading the raw data into the object storage. We process the data using the data flow and the process data, we are loading it back to the object storage. So all these are happening with the help of Spark application on the back end. Connections in data flow. Data flow can be used by multiple uses, ETL group uses, data engineering group uses, data flow admin group uses, SQL user group uses, data science group, all these people would be using the data flow. So what we're doing using the data flow, as we already discussed, we extract the data, transform the data, and load it into the databases. The data sources can be OCS streaming service, files, weblogs, sensor data, and the databases can be Oracle NoSQL, MySQL Heatwave, OC DMS, ADW, Exax, or DBCS. So using the data flow, what we are doing is we are extracting the raw data from the data sources and we clean the data and we process the data. So the raw data is called as branch tables. So the cleaned data is called as silver tables and the prepared data, we call it as gold tables in case of OCI data flow. Components of data flow. There are four components in data flow, library, run, application, and log. Library is basically to store all the data flow applications. Run is to run the data flow application. Once we run the application, there will be logs generated on the backend. Those are logs, the files created by data flow. And finally, the application is reusable here. Capabilities of data flow. So we can connect to Apache Spark data sources and launch the jobs in seconds using the OCI data flow. And we can manage all the Spark applications from a single part platform. 
you can bring your own connectors to connect to object storage you can you can create the reusable apache spark applications in any spark language that is scala java spark sql or pyspark any language and you can process the data in the cloud or on premises in your data center you can ex execute the spark jobs with no changes in the source code data flow security so in case of data flow you have a privacy you have a security and access control you have the private clusters vms networks isolated pools for your privacy and data is en encrypted when you run the data flow application also to create the data flow application or to manage the data flow application everything is managed by access control authentication and authorization with ociam prerequisites of the data flow you need the data flow object storage buckets and data flow logs you need the apache spark application in the data storage to run the data flow and you also need the data to process in the data object storage and you need the proper policies and permissions to run the data flow application how to set up the data flow there are three steps uh, to set up the data flow uh, that includes uh, setting up the identity groups, setting up compartments and identity storage buckets, setting up identity and access management policy, setting up identity groups. So you can categorize your data flow users into three groups depending on the use cases and privilege level. Three groups are data flow admins, data flow data engineers, data flow SQL users. The data flow admins doesn't need any administration access to the Spark clusters provisioned by Dataflow. Dataflow data engineers is basically for, to perform the ETL tasks and Dataflow SQL users are to run the interactive SQL queries by connecting to the Dataflow uh, SQL clusters over JDBC or ODBC connections. Setting up compartments and identity storage buckets. So you will create the dedicated uh, compartment called data flow hyphen uh, compartment for OCI data flow and storage buckets. There are two main storage buckets. Those are data flow logs and data flow warehouse. Data flow logs is basically to store your logs. Data flow warehouse is to store your data and Spark applications. Setting up identity and access management policy. Uh, four policies that you mainly require. Uh, those are data flow service level policy, data flow admins policy, data flow data engineers policy, data flow SQL users policy. So these policies you will be creating in identity uh, access management. <laughs>